You know, the strategy to uh, build a transatlantic consumer, corporate, uh, and investment bank with a global reach, I think, is, uh, is actually in very good shape. Um, the other part of our strategy that we laid out on March 1st is to accelerate uh, the closure of Noncore so that we can illuminate uh, the power of our core franchise. What was great about the second quarter is the core franchise of Barclays generated a return on tangible equity of about 11%. That double digit return on tangible equity is what the market is looking for uh, as a measure of a very strong performing bank. And we delivered that in the second quarter. Um, so we should feel very good about the profitability of our core franchise. The investment bank is running well, the corporate bank is doing quite well. Retail in the UK continues to generate exceptional profits. Barclays UK had a return on tangible equity of 18%, which is a tremendous number. And our credit card business is doing great, sort of capped off in the second quarter by the American Airlines mandate. So, uh, so I feel really good about how the core franchise is running. I think we're one of the most profitable banks in the world, if you look at the core franchise. I've got to meet more and more people uh, uh, of the Barclays family over the, over the last three months. And one of the really encouraging things is whether it was Paris or New York or, or Mumbai, what I hear coming back is this notion of the professionalism of banking. And that through integrity and transparency, we gain the trust of our clients, which is the most important asset for a bank and underscores the professionalism of banking. That I hear this coming back is tremendously rewarding. Because I think it's a sign of the, of the continued evolution of the uh, culture of Barclays so that we become again one of the most highly regarded and well-respected financial institutions in the world. So we asked often today what is the impact on Barclays of the Brexit vote, uh, which was an historic vote by the citizens of the United Kingdom. The truth is we don't know. Uh, this has been a political shock which the markets have reacted to and consumers and corporates in the UK are reacting to, but we don't know what's the medium nor the long-term economic impact. It's just too early to, to tell. What I would say is Barclays went into that vote in an extremely strong position. The bank is very profitable in its core franchises. Our capital level stands at 11.6% in tier one. We're very liquid as a bank. So if there is an economic reaction to the Brexit vote, Barclays is going to be a place of stability. Uh, we're open for business with our customers and clients. Since the Brexit vote, we've helped about 2,000 people start new businesses across the United Kingdom. Uh, we're filling out mortgage applications and extending credit to people who want to buy the apartment for, their, uh, for the first time. And we're engaged with our corporate clients. You know, right after the Brexit vote, uh, our investment bank underwrote a euro bond issue for the German railroad company. Uh, we executed an IPO for the privatization of a major business in Italy. And we underwrote capital raises by a number of the major corporations in the UK. So given the profitability of Barclays, I'm fine with whatever the economic impact is going to be. Uh, and ultimately, I do not believe that it's going to have an impact on our strategic vision. Priorities for Barclays in the second half of 2016 is really very much uh, the same priorities in the first half of 2016. Uh, execute on our core franchise, transatlantic, consumer corporate and investment bank with a global reach. Maintain a double digit uh, return on tangible equity. It is what ultimately is going to get our stock uh, to move. Um, uh, then exit uh, non-core. Uh, and then Africa. Uh, we've got a very good start to our, to our uh, goal of having a deconsolidated uh, position in Barclays Africa. So really it's the same thing. Accelerate the close of non-core, uh, stay focused on our core franchise which is doing very well and allow this convergence of the core business with our group numbers because that is what will get the stock to move.